welcome back to Enigma Review. So today I'm going to be doing a um, a company that I have I've featured a fair few times on my channel. I'm a little bit hit and miss with this company simply because items that I've got from them in the past have either run up too small or something on the actual item has broken off or they've come and they've been mega too small. Their sizing is a little bit off. And I know that I, I posted on Facebook a picture of this item and straight away I didn't realise that anybody would like this kind of style because as you know I love skulls and stuff. And straight away Jules, Mama Goff, she was like, oh my God, I love them. And she bought them and I was like, well, she's got good taste then because, you know, I've got the same shoes. Now, what I didn't realise until afterwards, I did actually say to Jules, I hope you sized up because this company's sizing is a little bit off. I did not even think to size up myself, guys. And I'm, these may not fit me because the sizes run a bit small. I'm actually selling a pair of their shoes at the minute. I'll show you at the, way, at the end. And I'm a little bit gutted because I absolutely love these shoes, but they cripple me. And as you know, I've got a disability. I am now labeled as disabled. That's all round. Um, you know, my disorder is getting worse. My situation, my chronic pain is getting worse. I'm on higher dose of medication. I'm being investigated at the minute for other various things in my body. So I, it just didn't enter my mind. But they just arrived today. I know Mama Goff got hers yesterday, Jules, and she sent me a picture of them. And I was like, oh, I'm so excited. Now, mine was supposed to come yesterday. Apparently, the driver broke down and they couldn't get out in time to deliver them. So they've come today. They've just come about half an hour ago. As you can see, I've not opened them. My name's on the back, my address. So I'm going to crack them open and we'll talk about the company, which you're going to see in a minute. So I own preferably about one, two, three, four, five. I probably own about seven pairs, if not more, of this brand of of shoes oh there we go again so yeah guys these are shoes so i've let the i've let the um thing drop bloody hell they're heavy and it's la moda guys yes la moda la moda is well known for doing gothic alternative footwear um very unusual footwear very much like demonia or um kill star shoes or quiet footwear I love gothic footwear, alternative footwear. I do like normal footwear as well, I like comfy trainers. I tend to buy a lot of sketches because they're comfortable. Um, but when I saw these guys, oh, there was a lot of shoes that I wanted on the Moda. I was like, oh, I like them, I like them, I like them. The last pair of shoes I bought from the Moda were these boots, and I did feature them on my channel. They were so goddamn small, I couldn't even get my feet remotely in the boot, never mind up my calf they went back and I got a full refund for them and I've not bought anything from the Moda since because I was just so bummed out about them boots. So this is the first time I've ordered from the Moda this year, last year and the year before. So it's been a while since I've featured La Moda on my channel. Let me just take a sip of my drink, guys. Um, mm. I need to just check that bag, guys, and check if the price or anything's in there, or any information. No, no. So I've got to do this by memory and I've not got a good memory because medication fries my brain. Um, these are the shoes that I bought a while ago. So these are the Creeper shoes from La Moda. Absolutely love these shoes. I am really feeling bummed out about putting them on the selling site. But it's like Ben said, don't keep things that cripple you. You can't wear anymore. I I do collect shoes, I will admit. I think if these don't sell by, by Sunday this week, I'll I'll probably take them off, guys, and just keep them, just because I absolutely love them. But these are the Creeper La Moda. They've got a little detail. They just, these are size seven. They feel more like a size six than a seven, guys, to be honest with you. I'm not a, a massive size seven. I'm just like a normal size, size seven shoe. But yeah, some size eight, if not all size eight, are way too big for me. So I tend to not order size 8 unless I know the size is run up small. Why have I done it? And I've ordered a 7 in these guys. And you know what? I have a funny feeling they're not going to fit. If that's the case, I may have to just send them back and exchange them for a size 8. 
but yeah they're on my selling site for 20 pound with my creeper shoes which i'm bummed out about i probably will buy another pair eventually so these are the most sexy shoes that i've seen this year i still want to buy the new rock shoes the ones that tk maxx had that time and everybody was like buying them and selling them for double the price i mean stupid price um and i never got my hands on any of them and i was so angry for about 12 months i didn't bother buying them shoes i do still love them chances are i may get them at christmas time for christmas but these are i think i'm gonna wear these a lot if they fit me so la moda is an online footwear yeah i got size seven so here is the information if you do want to go on and have a look at their shoes at www.lamoda.co.uk you can find them on instagram on twitter and facebook by the way guys i've deleted my instagram account so if you're trying to find me on there and you can't you won't i've deleted it but it's still showing up as being there until the 30th of august just in case they think i'm going to change my mind i want to delete it i've had instagram for about oh preferably about eight years and i used to love it but since starting youtube i just i don't know i just don't find instagram interesting enough for me to be on there um i just use it for putting pictures on and what have you and now i don't know half the people on there so yeah and rather than deleting all these people i don't know i just deleted instagram so i'm sorry if you've been trying to get in touch with me through there it's not there so anyway on with the show these are a size seven i don't know why i didn't order a size eight but guys keep your fingers and toes crossed that these fit me so they've got the style number in black size seven us size nine or europe size 40. here we go are we ready for this i'm gonna let you guys see them first because I've, I've got a funny feeling mama goss probably done a review on these as well are you ready three two one have i just told my address for everybody no this is the returns if it needs to be returned which possibility i might have to return these and this is what you're faced with guys <gasps> oh i love the smell of them i love them oh god i love these shoes look at them guys they're just they're just sexy aren't they they're just skulls skulls are my life guys i live for skulls i absolutely love skulls what is on the front of this box okay it has a return tracked if i want to return them i don't know if they've, if they've remembered me from the past and thought this girl may be returning these because they're going to run up small <sighs> please don't run up small they actually look quite big so here are the skull it just says they are skull platform shoes guys i don't think they have a specific name like hillstar do with the shoes okay all right so lamoda these are a maniac chunky platform wedge shoes guys they're a size seven these yeah was 75 pound guys and then they did this massive sale i think it was like a 70 percent sale plus 10 percent on this sale and i think altogether me and, and jules got i think we got 80 percent off these so all together they came to 54 pound i thought that was really good so oh the, right so these must have been higher than 75 pound guys and then they did this this 70 percent sale so they were coming up at whatever 75 pound and then obviously we used the 10 percent, which was extra 10 which gave me six pound off my 60 pound pair of shoes and they came to 54 pounds so there were 60 guys and then i ended up paying 54 for them now i didn't know that la moda is in plymouth West Bromwich, Ply or Plymouth House, West Bromwich. Okay. So shipping type. Um, I just got normal shipping, to be honest with you. Um, it took a little bit longer because of, of the little hiccup from yesterday. But yeah, brilliant. And there's a return slip. I have returned the motor shoes before, so I do know what to do. Just put in your quantity, your item, your refund or an exchange. If I was to change these, they are most definitely for an exchange for a bigger size. Um, and then you just put that in the box with the self-addressed sticky label and off they go. Happy days. So let's take out the shoe and have a look. Oh my God. Oh, I'm not too sure if I'm going to wear these on Saturday night on my night out. 
Oh, I don't know if that might be a bit of a dangerous thing to do because obviously it's the breaking in that I need to do and I don't know if, if that'll be a bit like walking around. Very painful. Right, so all the chain, oh my God, that chain is massive. So all the chains wrapped up by paper and the buckle and they're filled with a little shoe insert. Oh guys, I freaking hope these fit me. So let's talk about the design. Firstly, they've got like a grooved sole to them. If you look to the side, um, I think they'd be quite non-slip. They look very similar to the bottom of these shoes. It's very similar. Um, and then if you look to the front, you've got this three spike detail to the front, a skull print there, a little zip detail here. It is literally just for sure. Don't try and pull it down. You've got the spikes all the way running up the back of the shoe. You've got an O-ring here, which is great because I may, I've got some little skull key rings. I might just stick my skull key rings on there just for a little bit of added effect. And then they've got the zip detail again, skulls at the front, and then you've got this buckle with an O-rings going round the actual shoe. The shoe lace is up at the back, and then you've got your little shoe tag which you can put a little gem on there, whichever. Um, if it was Jane Wilkes, she probably would do that. But then you've got this massive, chunky, really chunky chain that sits at the back of the boot. Now, a lot of the Lamorda shoes that I do own have got chain detail, buckle detail. I just love, I love their design of shoes. I just wish their sizing was a little bit better. Inside the shoe is a skull and crossbone material. Now, for the truth guys, I'm just going to try them on quickly, then I can at least tell you if the size runs small or is true to size or they're too big. Oh, are we ready? Right. I shouldn't be bending like this guys because it does actually hurt my back. Bend on, it comes and just my shoes on. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to try and do it myself. Oh my God guys, I can't get my bloody foot in them. Yeah, they're running up too small, guys. I can't even get my foot in them. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> but they are quite tight. But saying that, my toe's actually here. So I, I think a size eight would probably have been too big on me. They probably would have been sliding off the, bot, off the back, which I hate as well. I think what I might do is try and break these in for a couple of days and see if I can break them in for Saturday night because these actually <laughs> they look amazing. They look amazing. I don't know if you can see. Oh my God. I'm so glad I found these. I was literally just browsing through, um, I can't remember what page I was on and the motor popped up. Oh, I got an email. That was it. Cause I'm on the, the list thing. I got an email saying that all the motor shoes, 70% off plus 10% extra, use code extra 10. And I thought, oh, I'll go and have a look. If you look inside the strap here, you've got these crossbone detail. So I just went on to have a look and I did find loads of shoes that I liked on there. And I mean, loads of shoes. And I was like, oh, I like them, I like them. And just by off chance, I did see these. And I was like, I instantly fell in love with them guys they are a bit tight guys I will I will be completely honest with you they do feel rather tight but I've got to give them a benefit of the doubt that they've just new shoes new shoes need to stretch need to break my dot martins I think they took me my dot martins took at least probably about two years in in total to break in because of my back disability i try not to wear any shoes that are uncomfortable because it causes pain my back's actually hurting from that stretch mm. but i actually love these they actually look complemented with these scarlet and chains um anklets with it so oh god i need to shave my legs but guys i've got it on it's comfortable i think i may i may just get the chance to break these in and i may just wear these on saturday with my leather trousers but i have got some new shoes 
to wear for Saturday if these are just a little bit too much and they are hurting me. Because if you think about it, it's a long time to be on your feet when you're on a night out and I can't exactly come home and change my footwear because the town centre is quite a fair bit away from where I live. Right, so that is these guys. Um, I'll just tell you quickly how this one feels. So upon putting them on, they were extremely tight. So obviously they've not got a lot of give in them, but these do feel a lot comfier and a lot of a nicer fit than them, these ones. These ones, I can't even, I can't even get my foot in them without them causing extreme pain. I've got this on my feet now. They're a very heavy shoe, guys, I've got to tell you, extremely heavy. I would put them on par with New Rocks. That's how heavy they feel. Probably together they feel about the same kind of way as, as a New Rocks shoe, but they are very, very heavy. I've also noticed around the, around the zip part, they've got little, little, what do you call that colour? I, I can't remember the colour, but they've got little, pearly gems little gems on them the detail on these are absolutely amazing i can imagine that these are quite a popular shoe so i think they're like the fall leather but this print is actually part of the actual leather it's not like it doesn't feel like it's going to come off anytime soon um i'd say that they're quite durable quite hard upon looking oh uh, you always have to check everything when it comes to shoes guys and i'm the world's worst here, if you see in the middle, this is where they've joined the shoe together. They did have a little bit of plastic then coming away from it. The other side, the other shoe's all right, but I will keep an eye on this because it looks as if that could come loose. If that's the case, then obviously they will go back. But I pulled that little bit of plastic off. It seems to be all right. So I'm going to come up closer, guys, so you can have a proper look of the shoe. And inside the shoe, the material. Oh, I love them. No, they are very, very tight, guys. These are going to take, I'd probably say, they're going to take me at least two days to break in. And I may end up cutting my feet in the process, which then puts me off from wearing them again if I do give me blisters. But if I do get blisters from them and I can't wear them on Saturday, I will wear my other shoes that I've just bought, which will be featured in a video very, very soon. Right, let me just... Let me just get these on my feet and let's see what it's like with the both. Now I've got, I don't know if you guys are the same. I always have one foot. Ah! Oh my God, guys. I have one foot slightly bigger than the other. So they feel a little bit tighter on this foot than they did the other. But if you loosen up the lace, you could actually leave your shoes on. Now these are going to rub my little toe. Yeah, my little toe on on my left leg, I have a different size foot to my right foot. And I feel like these are gonna rub my toe. Not this, not my um, right foot, but my left foot, I think they're gonna rub my little toe. I'm just gonna fasten them and have a look at them and see what I think, see what Ben thinks. Cause Ben Ben's like me, he likes, he don't like buying loads of men's shoes, but he, he loves to see wifey happy with shoes now ben didn't buy these i bought these for a change <laughs> because i just couldn't resist there you go guys so i have actually got them on i i could have done with a size eight guys to be honest with you i might go on now and see if they've got a size eight and i might see if i can exchange for a size eight or i'll just wear them in the house for the next couple of hours and if i feel like they're just not comfy and i feel like they're just going to really rip my legs rip my feet apart i will get rid and get a bigger size and he'd shave my legs like that but there you go guys that is my lamorda shoes they're now on my feet i will now end this video let you see the try on um what the heck i will put at the bottom if i'm gonna keep them or exchange them if i like them or i hate them all right guys take care and um, if you like these shoes, I will link them in the description box below. Chances are that you will see these shoes again. If Jules does them or Mama Goff does them, um, she, which she probably will do. Now, she sized up, so she she remembered. And there's me who didn't remember. I ended up getting a size 7. 
but we'll see. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you next time. I'm on a shoe ban, guys. I have got a pair of shoes that I'm going to review for you, which I bought before these, but after that, I, I pinky promise no more shoes until next year, unless I get any for Christmas, but that'll be, that is it. No more shoes. No more shoes, I cross my hat. All right, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit that like button if you like this video, because it helps me out and my channel. Take care guys, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye for now.